Assalamualaikum everyone. Hope you're doing well. I'm Nia Fatima and welcome back to my channel Arabic Classes with Nia. When you're going to a shop and they only know Arabic and you don't know how to speak nor ask a question in Arabic but you really want to ask a question or you have a question to ask in your office. What will you do? So, let us see. You are in the right place. Get ready to learn five question words in Arabic. So, let's begin. First question word is what. Do you know what to say what in Arabic? It is ma or maza. Ma comes when there is no verb in the sentence. But maza comes when there is a verb in the sentence. So, let's see some examples with the word what. We have, what color is my watch? So here you can see there is no verb in the sentence. And in Arabic it is known as, مَا لَوْن سَعَتِي Next sentence is, what are you doing? Here doing is a verb. And in Arabic we have, مَاذَا تَفْعَلْ or مَاذَا يَفْعَلْ Second question word. We have, Second question word is man, which means who. Let us see some sentences. Who are you? Which means man anta. Let's repeat man anta. Third question word. Why? Which means limaza. Let's repeat limaza. So we have an example, why are you late? So in this sentence, when you're telling in male form, it is limaza anta muta'akhar. And in female form, limaza anta muta'akhara. Fourth question word. So we have where. And do you know what to say in Arabic? In Arabic, it is known as Aina. We have an example. Where do you live? So, this one in male form, it is Aina Teskun. While when you're telling in the female form, it will become Aina Teskunin. Fifth and the last question word. Which is Kaifa. Which means how? We have some examples too. But let's see one important thing. Which is come. Which means how much or how many. So there are two types of how. So first type of how. An example which is how are you. Which means kaifa haluka in male form. And kaifa haluki in the female form. Okay. And now we have a second example of the second type of how. How old are you? So, when we say in the Arabic, it will become Kam umruka. And next, we have Kam umruki. The same thing in the female form. True or false? Are you ready for that? So, our first question. Is maza meaning who? So, it is wrong. Because maza doesn't mean who. Who means man. As we learned first, maza means what and not who. So now, let us see question and answer. Are you ready for that? So our first question is, what do you call where in Arabic? Do you know the answer? So the answer is, Aina. Let's repeat. Aina. Translate how in Arabic. So, I'll give you 5 seconds for this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Were you able to translate? Well, the answer is Kem or Kaifa. So, Next question is, what do you call who in Arabic? So, this might be an easy question. 
The answer is men. Let's repeat men. We have a last question. Let's see. What do you call Y in Arabic? Do you know the answer? Well, the answer is Limaza. Let's repeat Limaza. Thank you. Bye. Masalama. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned how to ask questions in Arabic.